Hi everyone, we are uh, another uh, artificial intelligence program and uh, today we wa I will uh, show you how we can do a face recognition and uh, detect who is the, the person not uh, only object detection so we will detect the person but uh, also uh, who is this person our uh, image so uh, let's start So uh, first of all, uh, we must uh, load the uh, EfaceNet uh, model. This uh, model is so powerful. It's uh, developed uh, by uh, Google. Uh, it's uh, used the triplet loss. Uh, so uh, the principle is so simple. So uh, they use the uh, an answer and the positive example and negative example that they try to reduce the the triplet loss uh, to uh, and uh, update the weights of her their uh, convolution neural networks so we can download it uh, from their uh, page so uh, let's see uh, how it uh, works so uh, the shape of our model uh, must contain an image uh, of 160 wide and uh, 160 uh, three channel and the uh, output of our model will contain uh, 128 embedded vector so uh, also i want to use a multitask uh, cascaded conversion network or uh, just mtcnm for face detection and find and instruct and uh, face uh, from photos this is our first step this is the function that will do that for us as we see we will uh, enter our uh, our picture or the file for this picture and we will uh, pre-process our data to have the shape of our model and then the last uh, we will have a face array uh, of our image so here uh, i used the um, a celebrity faces uh, data set that contain a train in the validation uh, of our uh, celebrity we have uh, five celebrities so, uh, our model will detect which celebrity in, in which uh, so let's see how uh, we have the, uh, done this so uh, we load this uh, data set as we see a uh, data set was uh, was uh, taken and uh, we have extracted the face and have uh, all uh, the same uh, shape uh, 106 and 106 and 3 so after uh, preparing our data set we will uh, we'll try to prepare our uh, our train uh, data for uh, the model so uh, we will uh, take uh, our train in x and the train in uh, y and the, the test x and test y from our data that was uh, pre-proceeded in the last uh, function and we are in the, the step of uh, modeling this uh, image so we will create the uh, face embedded in uh, using our pre-trained model uh, face net so this is uh, will uh, i create this function get embedded so we will use our model and the face pixel uh, so the, that have uh, pre-proceeded to have uh, this uh, the shape to uh, 160 160 for this model so as we see our model will predict our sample uh, our sample uh, i have also used the standardized pixel it's always a good practice to, to standardize and normalize our data for uh, deep neural networks as we see the result of embedded and we'll have uh, some picture here some picture here on our uh, space so uh, after uh, performing uh, we will uh, perform a classification we can use the cleanliness new board or support vector machine uh, I have used the support vector machine to predict the train X and the, the train Y. I have uh, an accuracy of 100 uh, in this uh, data set. And uh, the final result is the prediction, uh, so we can take a sample.